this look reminds me of little kim and um dang what is that video i'm not that old i know what it is crush on you on this mm. Hey guys and welcome back to Miss Know It All Beauty. It's great to see you guys in another video. And let me switch up the background for a moment. You guys remember this, right? My last video and how badly it didn't stick. You see it feels stick again. Welcome back to my channel. I think I'm just going to get rid of this thing. This right here. I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. I want to be seen green. Wouldn't be caught dead red. So as you guys know, in my last year post, I did mention that I was going to be like surrounded in the color green. Color green is something that I usually do not wear um, on my eyelids, on my lips, on even my nails. I rarely wear this color. Probably a shirt, probably something in my hair, but I never thought to myself, Paige, do you want to wear green? And I'm like, no, I don't. Not really. I <laughs> really don't. But anyway, so I decided to do an all green post. So this video was brought on by, once again, one of my favorite YouTubers, Miss Nikki Tutorials. She decided to paint herself in all green for her makeup tutorial about last year. By the way, please guys, please like and subscribe this video if you are enjoying this content and loving it. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get down to it. Here's my bare face and I did just turn on the light. Um, that I usually do my makeup in. Please forgive my voice. By the time I'm recording this, I am trying just to get over a cold. But yep, I'm just straining my hair and my cute bow. I found both my shirt and my bow at Walmart, if you guys are asking about it. And I'm just prepping my face with my primer and um, setting spray that can be a primer and placing my brows on. I did get a brow pencil to do my brows, so I was happy about that. All right, so I'm just gonna take the Take Me Back to Brazil palette that I use a lot. And I'm just going to place all the shades that are in that palette on my eye. I'm gonna try to make sure I can get them all on my eye. Also, we're using all the makeup in my kit. I'm using the concealer too. So what I'm placing on my lid is actually concealer, you guys. So it's totally up to you, but I mean, it works. So as you can tell, I was pointing at all the greens in my palette some of them were mixed with a little bit of yellow so i did go for those as well any ones that showed out green the most so yeah i just connected both colors together and this side of the palette too that little bottom square actually does have some green in it so i'm going to use that as well I'm going to blend that over the concealer and blend it up to the top of my brow bone now, because I have never used um, green on the top of my brow bone before, I'm just going to go in with my trusty quad that I just showed you guys. 
and I just turned off the light just to make sure that it looks okay for so far, you know. So right now I'm just going to put on my eyeliner and put on the rest of my face. That's why I actually had the camera speed up a little bit because it's more about the green makeup than anything. As you can see, I do have some new products in my kit um, that I haven't used in my last tutorials that I've done or my last makeup videos. I will let you guys know what they are if you are interested, but mostly all of them are Maybelline, including the foundation. But yeah, I'm just going in with contour and highlighting, and right now I'm just showing you um, what I use on my face for contour and highlighting. Now, for my bottom eyelids, I use the green eyeliner pencils that I use. They're called Imori, and I used them in my haul before. So I used them before. And yeah. Also, I'm taking green glitter that I got from BH Cosmetics and place that on as well. Not to mention using green eyeliner for lip liner. Okay, so we're almost finished with this look, but I just had to address something. So. All the products that I usually use, I do recommend because they're pretty nice and they're pretty okay. But um, I had, well, let me just start off by saying this. I was looking for a matte kind of liquid lipstick that was in the color green, okay? And um, I was ordering off Amazon to see if there was any colors because it's really hard to find a color that liquid lipstick, especially in the matte green. So finally I found one and it was called um, LA Splash Cosmetics and it is a smitten lip tint mousse. It's also waterproof and it's in the color Nagini, Nagi, Nagini, something like that. Anyway, so this liquid lipstick I have not used yet in one of my videos. Um, I actually got it in my last haul, but I kind of was timid to actually talk about it because Unfortunately, I um, was kind of sad about it and I was hard. it was hard for me to talk about it. So let's start off by saying this. When I received the liquid lipstick, it looked like it was already halfway, like almost halfway gone. But after you press it down and it started squishing and basically mixing and making more. So that was okay. But, um, and then we took it out and it looks pretty okay. So I'm just gonna place it on after the liquid I mean, after the liner and stuff. All right, so there you guys have it. I placed it on and it's drying up pretty fast. As you can see already, this started creasing and started, when I placed my lips together, it's starting sticking up here. Sorry, there's this little hair that's everywhere. Ugh. Anyway, it's um right there where it starts to like, you know, separate itself. It's drying pretty fast, but at the same time, I'm having problems with just keeping it on and I had to keep it like really near me all um, all day basically. Um, I actually wore this around Christmas time and I was really disappointed in it because I thought it was a beautiful color. Um, but at the same time, like it dries your lips really fast, but most mattes do. But at the same time, like if you see it right here, that's really disappointing because it doesn't like fully cover the lips. Yeah. You see, right over, right over there, it was really, just really disappointing to have something like that. And I just keep saying disappointing because like, you know, it's pretty, it's a beautiful color and then it goes on pretty well if you just have the right, um, well, not if you just have the right anything, it just doesn't go on pretty well.
Now with any mat, you don't want to put a lot on because um, this can get clumped up. And the thing also too is that once you do a mat, you have to wipe it all off and then place it back on again. Placing over top of each other is not just a good combination because it just basically just clumps up and it just keeps clumping up. So yeah, I did place that on and I actually placed too much right here. So that was that. Um, I think I may go with a little ombre look with the green. Um, also just to mention, since the glitter that I placed on, it's covering up the crease a little bit, but like I said, I use green um, concealer for my eyeshadow lid and it doesn't sit well on my eyeshadow lid. So I had to cover it up, so I did use the glitter. And yeah, so let's continue on with our makeup. So I usually don't do this, but I'm going to take some of the green concealer and try to ombre it on my lips to see what I get, because this is an experiment. Well, now it's became an experiment. It's not really going like I planned. I thought I could ombre it. Let me try using some powder and see if that's different. So I'm taking some of the BH Cosmetics um, makeup that I have been using so far. Just to let you guys know, I am using this color right here. This is the same color I used for the Grinch. Also, the LA Splash Smitten. Unfortunately, it has this odor or a scent that, or a chemical or ingredient inside of it that I can smell very, and it's very perfumey and it. It smells more like a chemical than anything so that kind of worries me a little bit about this but I mean so far I mean you can do what you want with it but unfortunately wearing it all day um, especially with eating it can be a little bit tricky so I'll be careful with using this I'm gonna go ahead and place on my iconic lashes also guys I did forget one thing in my kit it is a mint green color um eyeliner i did forget to use this but i decided to just put a little bit on my lips to blend it out and i think i got everything in my kit that is actually green so we did it um i hope you guys enjoyed this look um you can use it if you want to go out for saint patrick's day but um I'm kind of loving this look. I would wear the eyeshadow. Probably would not connect the eyeshadow and the lips together all in one look. But um, I'm actually liking this little ombre look that's going on with my lip color. Um, I was just going to do the liquid lipstick and then I just thought at the end of the video, like, man, I should just like, you know, blend it out. Kind of like a, I would do with the red if I had red on. But yeah, this is the uh, ultimate look. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well in love and light. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.